that's the deal with airplane peanuts. peanuts. Ever since returning to YouTube one week ago, the Joe Rogan Experience channel has already uploaded 10 hours and 54 minutes worth of content, resulting in 14 million views and counting, with a vast majority of those views coming from the one episode that Joe Rogan strategically handpicked from all other possibilities to be his epic return to this platform, featuring the one and only Cat Williams and their now highly scrutinized conversation that went nothing and everything like you thought it might. Why do black people like menthol so much? What's that about? This is very racist, this is conversation. It? The Cat Williams interview was already getting mixed reviews in the comments before it was even possible that people finished the episode. But after actually sitting down and watching all three hours of this podcast, the three main takeaways from Cat Williams on JRE include there being zero mention of Cat going at the comedians on Club Shay Shay, the wild theories that Cat and Joe discussed outside of comedy, and exactly how this episode already proved why the Joe Rogan experience returning to YouTube will ultimately change the entire ecosystem of podcasting on this platform in more ways than one. No people built the pyramid. No people? Everyone was stoked to see a full three-hour episode of the Joe Rogan Experience be uploaded to YouTube again last week. But some of the letdown from the Cat Williams episode expressed by comedy fans online seems to stem from the insane expectations that were placed on what a conversation between Cat Williams and Joe Rogan would be like the second that Cat dropped his name on Club Shay Shay two months ago. I think we all expected Cat to either double down on the inflammatory statements he made about some of his peers, or Joe to ask him about about some of those claims more in depth as a person with an extensive background in comedy. But neither of those things actually happened. In fact, there was no mention of any other comedians or Cat's viral moment a few months ago during this entire episode. It is possible Cat Williams felt like the message got across clearly enough the first time and didn't want to appear petty by bringing it up again. But it's hard to believe that Joe Rogan was not at all curious about any of those stories being a comedian himself. Cat Williams also told Shannon Sharp he had to go on his show specifically specifically because Shannon had given those other comedians the same platform to spread lies about himself in the first place, and even though this conversation probably happened off screen at some point, it would have been interesting as a viewer to hear Joe asking Kat what made him think that he wasn't welcome on the show. That would be like me being on Joe Rogan. Joe don't want me on there. I need to be on Shannon. Joe, Joe got six comedians that never been funny. He want to push out. I was so happy that I got him to come on the podcast because like he was like, Joe Rogan don't want me on this podcast. Yeah. I'm like, I do though. Yeah. I, I fucking love that guy. I've Did always you? sung his praises. Everyone wanted this episode to be a complete reckoning of Hollywood and the system as a whole, but instead got a three hour Duncan Trussell esque ancient alien weed induced chat that was honestly more of a classic old school highest balls JRE conversation, which sounds like a romantic way to return to YouTube for OG fans. But for other people, this conversation was almost too far out. We've all seen Joe do a good job driving conversation, whether he's still to the gills or sober as a rock. But Kat was talking at a snail's pace most of this episode to the point where it only sounds normal in times two speed. It almost now seems like Kat Williams was so entertaining on Club Shay Shay because Shannon couldn't believe what he was hearing most of the episode. But when Kat told Joe Rogan these same ideas, they would end up agreeing. So with a lack of push and pull, all these outside the box statements would end up rapping at a pretty anticlimactic point. Is life that was created by biological creatures who had these desires and needs that ultimately led to them making a better version of them. And then that is like the butterfly that comes out of the cocoon. As soon as we put people in space, we became aliens that day, right? Right, yeah. A lot of things are perspective. That's true. Removing all the outside pressures and expectations, this was objectively interesting as f to listen to and digest. But waking up the next day to Joe Rogan and Dan Soder joking around about the Cat Williams episode was honestly just as entertaining. Which is why full episodes being back on YouTube is such a blessing and should be the main takeaway from all of this. Dude, he's <laughs> the books thing is still the funniest shit in the world. Bro, he doubled down and and then some. Respect. He, he on said, doubling down on a crazy shit is fucking bro, hilarious. He was saying, I went to the library and I got 20 <laughs> books at a time because that's all they would let you 
get, and I would be there three times a week. What if? Oftentimes, I'd be reading eight books simultaneously <laughs> because I have the original book, and then I have books and annotated. And it's like, I love it. The the idea that a librarian sees him coming and gets nervous. Uh, they're like, no, 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 no. Lock the doors. Here he only comes. Only 20. <gasps> only 20. Only 20 books I at a time. I need to read 30 books today. Aside from all of us fans getting to watch full episodes on YouTube again, the JRE channel and their now reactivated official clip channel could seriously start supercharging specials for comedians who come on the show like Dan Soder and Fahim Anwar, who both were just on last week promoting their own specials on YouTube. As backwards as it may sound, for some of these guys, it's totally plausible to end up with more views on their JRE episode than their actual specials. So the ability to add direct links to the specials in the description and even end screens of these episodes is yet another way that Joe Rogan will be able to positively impact the comedy community. But that's still just the beginning of what these full episodes will change in the comedy landscape of YouTube. JRE is already the most clip show in the world, and now that it's been made even easier for people to find easter eggs of conversation and edit them into shorts or smaller videos in this current clip economy, one solid Rogan appearance has the ability to spread a comedian's name, image, and likeness around this platform even more like wildfire than ever before. The return to YouTube has already shaken things up so much, in fact, that in the monthly stats segment during the Best of February video we just released, the question had to be posed if we should even include Rogan in the top three most viewed episodes moving forward because it's more than likely that JRE will clean sweep every single month from here on out. Guest spots from last week? The Joe Rogan Experience had full episodes with Cat Williams and Dan Soder. Two Bears, One Cave was Burt and Tom, Tom and Burt. Shane Gillis was on the Legion of Skanks. Shane Gillis and Dan Soder went on We Might Be Drunk. Bad Friends had Fahim Anwar on the show. We also interviewed Fahim on this channel. Paul Verzi visited your mom's house. Ari Shafir was on Danny Brown. Matt and Shane had Casey Rocket, Lemare Lee, and Sean Gardini on the program. Taste Buds battled Biscuits and Gravy vs. Garlic Bread Part 2. Flagrant had on Tim Dillon. Tim was also on Valuetainment. Rob Riggle was on The Way Back. And Kill Tony this week featured Joe List. Casey Rocket has arrived. Joe Thank List, you. have you seen Casey before? I have. Casey's the first comic I saw at Mothership. And I thought I was going to see, you know, Joe Rogan, Tom Segura, and this fucking lunatic came out. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is different. Yeah. And my favorite thing is watching the people that did not get it. That was really yeah. enjoyable. <laughs> just these two are just baffled by this. They're like, I hope yeah. this isn't all night. And it was really fun. This past weekend with Theo Vaughn talked with a border patrol chief. The Are You Garbage Boys visited Stavi's world. Eleanor Kerrigan was on Are You Garbage. David Cross was a guest on Whiskey Ginger. Natasha Legero and Moshi Kasher went on Tiger Belly. The Blocks podcast had on Jim Norton. Brad Williams was on The Honeydew. First Date featured main mommy Christina P. Rick Glassman had Funny Marco take his shoes off. Being in with Jordan welcomed Asad Benbo and Joey Dardano. The Harland Highway did a fan call-in episode. Jelly Roll took a wild ride with Steve-O. And Andrew Santino was on the Really Good podcast. Get out. Thank you. God, Robert. Have so much fun. Get, don't hit me with the golf cart. <laughs> as far as new stand-up specials are either out right now or coming out soon, it's been a huge week. There's a slew of these things out on YouTube right now, starting off with David Lucas Uncancelable, which came out on Wednesday, March 6th, and can be found right now on David's YouTube channel. Other specials out on this platform include Dan Soder on the Road, which was uploaded last week and already is up well past half a million views. We also have H. Foley's new 30-minute special Live from Madison, Kim Congdon Childless Milf, Eleanor Kerrigan, Again, no Country for Old Women, which is out on the Comedy Store's YouTube channel. Paul Aaliyah's debut comedy special, Detroit Player, is also out right now on YouTube, produced by his longtime friend in comedy, Matt Reif. We also have Akash Singh's new special, Gaslit, which will be coming to YouTube on March 10th. And one more special that's out on YouTube right now, titled House Money, comes to us from comedian Fahim Anwar, who we actually just interviewed about this special and a bunch of other interesting topics in a video that you can find on the end screen right after this video. Bobby Lee was the first person take you on the road with him. What were some of the wildest things you experienced on tour? Because there's a lot of stories about Bobby on the road. Bobby is great. He's so generous with younger comedians and, and kind of cultivating their talent on the road, giving them an opportunity because it's rare to be able to do great shows like that. So I owe Bobby a lot. But one thing that struck me is he would, uh, whenever you, you go out to eat with Bobby, he has a rule. You can eat whatever you want, order whatever you want off the menu, but you can't take it to go. So if you want to box it up, he's like, no, 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 no. I paid for it. <laughs> so that's just like an ongoing a rule. <laughs> and it's funny to see younger comics just sort of like discover that rule in the moment because it's kind of a yeah. weird rule. I think it's to teach him a lesson just to 
don't order so much food, just order what you can eat. And a few specials in the works right now that will be coming out soon. The biggest news is Brian Simpson Live from the Mothership, which will be the first hour long special for Brian Simpson and debuts globally on Netflix March 19th. If you want to hear all about the process of creating this special at the Comedy Mothership, check out our interview with Brian Simpson tagged right here. And we've been talking about this for a while now, but May 4th, Cat Williams will be streaming his latest hour live from the Netflix is a Joke Festival. This will be the second live special in Netflix history, similar to what Chris Rock did a year ago. I know we just mentioned a few different interviews with comedians who have new specials out right now that you should check out, but if you've already seen those videos and are looking for something new to watch, we also have an interview with the star of Kill Tony 651, heavyweight champion of the world, out right now over on our second channel, Clip World. And as always, if you're looking to stay up to date with all your favorite comedians, be sure to subscribe to Joke World right now. Thanks for watching. At Joke World. That's it. At Joke World. And the world is W R L D. That's a great uh, YouTube channel, Joke World. Check it out.